In today's video, we're going to be talking about impetigo, which is quite a common and contagious pus forming or pyogenic infection of the epidermis of the skin. Now, there's two types of impetigo. We have the common non-bullous form and the less common bullous form. It can also be divided as primary and secondary, whereby primary is where the skin was previously normal, or secondary where there is a skin condition present in the area affected or there is a breach of the skin. Now, impetigo is very common during childhood. In fact, there's a 3% incidence rate in children under the age of 4 years old. The most common cause of impetigo is either an infection due to Staphylococcus aureus, which is usually the cause of bullous impetigo, but sometimes beta hemolytic streptococcus may be the cause. The main risk factor is contact with another infected individual and poor skin hygiene. Now, in terms of the appearance in non-bullous impetigo, initially we have the presentation of an itchy, uncomfortable vesicle, which often ruptures and oozes serous fluid. It then dries to form the typical golden colored crust with this red erythematous base. The lesions are usually around two centimeters in size. And at the stage where the crust formation occurs, they are not usually painful or itchy. Whereas in the initial stages, it can be itchy or uncomfortable. With bullus impetigo, there are intact blisters, which are filled with this clear and cloudy fluid. They usually burst after around two to three days and they look like this. The most common sites of infection include the face, commonly around the mouth and nostrils, and at the trunk of the body. Usually bullous impetigo affects the armpits and the neck folds. Diagnosis is usually done via a clinical examination. Swabs and samples can be taken and a culture can be grown to check the bacteria involved in the infection. Treatment often includes fusidinic acid and management of the lesions with cleansing and removing the crust. In more severe cases, systemic flucloxacillin is often considered.